Welcome to Home Farm. Today I'm going to walk you through our solar panel system and we'll see how it's been performing in its first four months. That is the full array of our panels. There are 22 of them. They are produced by a company called JA Solar uh, and each panel is 280 watts which means that we have 6.16 kilowatts worth of power. The other notable thing that we need to mention is that we are south southeast facing and the pitch of the roof which basically means the gradient of the roof is at 35 degrees the reason that we have gone with 6.16 kilowatts worth of power is because we have upgraded our central heating to run from an air source heat pump air source heat pumps consume a lot of electricity so by having the solar panels put in we're basically assisting and reducing our electricity requirements during daylight hours. As you can see from the little image that I've attached, we are producing just under five kilowatts worth of electricity on a pretty good day. And there have been instances where we actually have been producing six kilowatts of power. This is our inverter from a company called Solar Edge. I'm just gonna get across to this little unit here, which basically shows that we're producing 4.9 kilowatts and the inverter is limiting us to 6 kilowatts. That is important and I'll explain why. We were really excited the first week when the solar panels went up because for the first time we were producing our own electricity. Being a bit of a geek, I installed the Solar Edge app on uh, my iPhone and I started to monitor our power generation. What was really, really lucky is that for the first week of the panels being up, we had some terrific weather. There was not a cloud in the sky, it was just blue skies all the time. What became apparent quite quickly is that by 12 or 1 o'clock in the afternoon when the sun was directly overhead we would hit the 5 kilowatt mark on the app and we were never able to exceed the 5 kilowatt mark. This went on for 4 or 5 days and I started to think that something was wrong. I picked up the phone and I phoned Eon. Eon told me that they would look into the matter and they needed to perform some diagnostic tests. After about a week we got a phone call from Eon and they informed us that the reason that we weren't able to exceed the 5 kilowatt mark was because they had installed a 5 kilowatt inverter. This surprised me a little bit. After all, why would I have a 5 kilowatt inverter when we've got 6.16 kilowatts worth of panels on the roof? I asked Eon why they had put in a 5 kilowatt inverter. They informed me that it's an industry standard to give you an inverter that's 20% less than the capacity of your solar panels. This made no sense to me at all. I told Eon that that was simply not good enough after all, why had we paid for all these additional panels if we were never ever going to be able to produce the maximum amount or close to the maximum amount of what the panels were capable of? To be fair, Eon did not raise a fuss at all. They said that they were going to schedule a new installation team to come through and replace the inverter. They did that and within a week, the inverter had been changed. Fortunately for us, we continued to have a lot of blue skies. This allowed us to see whether the new 6 kilowatt inverter was in fact going to allow us to get over the 5 kilowatt mark. And what do you know, on one of the first days where we had a lot of blue skies, we were able to generate 5.4 kilowatts of power. In fact, there were some days that we even hit the 6 kilowatt mark was literally like 5.97 kilowatts, which is incredible. It's almost the full potential of our solar array. If you've recently had the solar panels put in, or you're in the process of thinking about putting them in and you've received estimates from installers, go through the paperwork. Before appointing Eon as our installers, we must have received estimates from maybe five or six different, uh, different suppliers. All the estimates very clearly showed the size of the actual solar panels themselves. So whether they're 280 watts or 320 watts, that was very, very clear. What was unclear on each and every single one of those estimates was that they provided the brand of the inverter that they were going to install but at no point, not a single estimate actually stated whether it was a 5 kilowatt or a 6 kilowatt inverter. So if your estimate doesn't state that, I would suggest to you that you pick up the phone, call your installer and just get them to confirm and verify that you are getting the highest possible inverter that you can get for your solar panel array. To give you an idea of the performance of the panels, today is very, very overcast and there's very little light around. We are currently producing about 600 watts of electricity. So on a day like today, we're probably gonna produce about five or six kilowatts, which is not great, um, but it's still better than producing nothing. We have had days where it has been overcast, but if you look at the horizon, 
When you get a sky that's like that, we are then producing about one and a half to two kilowatts of electricity per hour, which is more than acceptable. And it goes a long way to driving the air source heat pump. So to provide another uh, reading today, we're going to look at the sky. Uh, we've got partial cloud cover, fair amount of light, and we are producing two and a half kilowatts today. So just under half. Uh, so the light isn't amazing but you know there is enough lights around for it to be producing a sufficient amount of uh, electricity today it's raining you can see that it's overcast it's pretty gloomy and pretty dark there isn't a lot of light around this is pretty much the worst case scenario for our solar panels and um, it's nine o'clock in the morning so it's still quite early but the light is really really low and as a result, we're producing around 400 watts, which is, um, I think, the, pretty much the worst I've seen so far that these panels have done. Uh, but I can't imagine it getting much darker than this. Days like today are just absolutely fabulous for solar production. The sun's gone in a little bit behind some clouds, but when it comes out, we, for the last three or so hours, have been producing in the range of about five and a half kilowatts of electricity which is um, you know, just the perfect day to, to do those electricity intensive tasks like um, putting on the dryer, the tumble dryer or the dishwasher and you can see now the sun's out in all its glory bright 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 our panels have been on the roof now for four months and I've got to say we've been quite impressed I know that there's a lot of skeptical people in the UK when it comes to solar production and I can only state what our panels have actually produced so in the first four months that they've been up we installed them at the end of March, today is the 1st of August, so we're talking about a four month period. We have produced 3.2 megawatts of power and we have consumed 2.8 megawatts of power. The reason that our consumption is quite high is because we have got an air source heat pump installed and they do consume a lot of electricity. According to the Solar Edge app, we've also saved pumping 1.2 tons of CO2 into the atmosphere in just four months. Certainly, from our perspective, the panels have worked a treat. We understand that come November, December, Jan, Feb, when it gets a little bit darker, when it gets a little bit gloomier, when the days are shorter, we understand that we're going to see a performance drop. But for the time being, in the first four months, we've been really, really impressed. This is going to be an ongoing series of videos, and we'll continue to show the performance of our panels, and hopefully they do continue to perform really well, even over the darker, shorter winter months. Thanks for watching. You can also follow us on Instagram or check out our website at myhomefarm.co.uk. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you have any suggestions for any other videos you would like to see, please leave a comment. We hope to see you on our next video.